Hello, my fellow slackers. Lloyd here today, and I'm going to make a commentary about Transformers 4, the next movie that Michael Bay is going to direct. And, yeah, it's supposed to be coming out in theaters June 29, 2014. And when I heard about this news, well, first of all, I, I know this is pretty late news, but I couldn't make a commentary in the other days, and now I have time to make a commentary and say what I think about it. And, uh, let's see here. I don't think it's a good move what Bay's doing. I mean, he already made three Transformers movies. Transformers 1 was really good because no one has ever done that before. All the transformations, that amazing effects and all that, the explosions. They were just on the largest scale and people enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it and I thought it was awesome. No, it wasn't awesome. It was fucking awesome. That's what it was. Transformers 2, it was alright. Uh, kind of mixed up on the story about the Fallen. I mean, you know, people thought it was shit. I still enjoyed it, but not as great as Transformers 1. Transformers 3, it was just all over the goddamn place. Um, it wasn't as much as I expected to. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as the first one. But never mind about that. We're supposed to be talking about Transformers 4. I mean, come on. Michael Bay. Uh, Megatron is already dead. And Starscream's supposed to, you know, supposed to be the next leader for Megatron, but he's already dead. And then you got Shockwave, who's also supposed to, you know, supposed to be one of the top guys for the Decepticons. He's also dead. And, um, what are they supposed to do for the next movie? What is Bay and his writers going to do for the next movie? Um, they, when I was reading the article, they are going to say it's a reboot. So, I don't know how they're going to do this, because in the first movie, they already explained about how the war started, because they wanted to, uh... Get the all spark decepticons wanted it for power the autobots wanted it to put more life on their planet well to regain life in their planet um so i don't know how they're gonna start off with this first well with the reboot i mean to say um i i just can't imagine what their what the story is gonna be next but uh let's say it's not a reboot you know you know Michael Bay, sometimes he says this, even though it's not going to happen. Like he said how Transformers 3 is going to come out this day, but it actually came out earlier in America. So, let's say it's not a reboot. If they are going to continue from the last movie, they better put, you know, fucking Unicron. Because that's what I wanted in the third movie since they mentioned the moon. But they never did, and I was disappointed. Um, so yeah, they better put fucking Unicron. But let's say they don't put Unicron. If they don't put Unicron, they should at least put Dinobots. Because, as a Transformers fan, I watched Dinobots in the G1 series. I mean, I didn't live in the 80s and all that, but, you know, I watched it on YouTube. I enjoyed it. Or, you know, make something like Beast Wars. I don't know. I enjoyed Beast Wars as a kid. I was fucking small. I was so fucking fascinated. Even though those weren't, you know, the best 3D animations ever, but I still fucking enjoyed it. So, uh... They should either put two of those things, man. What what else are they gonna do about? Are the well, first of all, in the next Transformers movie, supposedly it's been rumors. I don't I don't think it's been confirmed. That there, uh, people are saying, oh, Jason Statham is gonna be the next star for Transformers Four. But then again, in my opinion, the Transformers movies should be more on the Autobots side or the Decepticons. Well, it should be more on the Transformers side than on the human side because that's what Transformers is about. It's all about the Transformers. In the cartoons, it didn't really reflect on the humans. It reflected most on the robots. And that's why I enjoyed the cartoons a lot. But, you know, the movies are good too. I enjoyed it. Um, what else can I say about it? Um, I don't think... It's a good move of Bay's. I mean, I love Bay. I love his movies. The freaking island, you know. Transformers. The, the earlier movies he made, I mean, I, I like that. But for Transformers, Transformers, I don't like what he's doing right now. Because, you know, Hasbro has been cajoling and persuading him to make the next movie. We're like, <clears throat> okay, Mr. Bay, um, we, we think you should make another Transformers movie because, you know, we need some money. And, uh... I think the next, you know, the next movie is basically all about money, you know, 
I think it's ruined the essence of Transformers, the movies. And um, I think they shouldn't make the next movie. I mean, they were saying someone else was going to direct Transformers 4, but ends up Michael Bay is coming back again. And that's something I don't really like. But don't get me wrong, Michael Bay has been a huge influence to me because I'm really, I'm really into film. And I like to make my own videos too with my friends, special effects, documentaries, whatever. I just, I just love film. So that's just me. I'm, I'm a film nerd. But you know, there's always going to be other, well, not film nerd, film geeks. There's going to be other film geeks more geeky than me when it comes to movies. I, I just like making videos and all of that. You know, you know me. For those of you who actually, who actually are loyal to my videos. But, nah, I'm sounding cocky like that. Fuck that. Well, if you just watch my videos, you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> so, uh... Is there anything else I have to say? Oh, yes! This picture you see in the background? Yes, this was made by me in Photoshop using my own Transformer toys. And, yeah. And the next thing I have to say is... What do you think of the next Transformers f movie? What, are you, what, what do you think about it? Do you think it's going to be a bad movie? Do you think it's going to be a good movie? Do you think Michael Bay should make the movie or not? W w w you know, just drop down. What do you think? I mean, I actually fucking care what about people think. People are actually curious what other people think. It's human nature. We all want to know what we think. Especially for the Transformers community. We all want to know about Transformers. That's all we want to fucking know about. And I'm sorry for the cursing, but I feel comfortable that way making this commentary. And, uh, yeah. This is Lloyd from Slack. And rate, subscribe, whatever. I mean, I hate saying that, but, you know, subscribing is the only way to get you guys updated on the videos we make. Not because we treat you like a fucking number. It's because we, we want to keep you updated about the videos we make. Because, you know, I think people deserve to see our videos. Because, you know, we, we actually say interesting topics. Well, I don't know for adults, but, you know, for teenagers, I think we make interesting topics. But whatever. Subscribe. Unsubscribe. Whatever. Do whatever you want to do. You know? I just love making these kind of commentaries, videos, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, Lloyd here. And I'll see you later. If you haven't seen my last video, it was a collaboration video with Alphazor. And it's basically about how dubstep is really made. And you can just click the video and you will be sent right to it.